Well, it seems love is already in full bloom with Perth florists preparing for their busiest day of the year. Tomorrow, of course, is Valentine's Day. Michael Genovese is getting amongst the chaos at Inaloo Florist this morning. Petal, good morning to you. It's going to be a busy day. <laughs> yes, good morning, Tim. You know exactly, as I do, how busy today is going to be. Of course, the big one tomorrow, Valentine's Day, and the numbers are in, OK? So it's estimated that, on average, uh, each partner in Australia will spend around $86 on their loved one tomorrow. Um, other research is showing that it's probably a little bit closer to 156 That's online research, so I hope you're taking notes now. That estimates, too, that equates to around about $800 million nationwide. So it's going to be a massive day. It's been a massive lead. Up. I'm here at Inaloo Florist. I'm joined by Vicky Higgins now. Now, she um, has actually been in this store since five o'clock this morning. It's been open for two hours already, the day before Valentine's Day. Vicky, this is going to sound like a silly question, but obviously it's the busiest day on a florist's calendar. Yeah, yeah, it definitely is. It's uh, the highlight of our year, Valentine's Day. A lot of love out there. <laughs> How much preparation actually goes in? I mean, when do you start um, the orders and the planning for a day like today? OK, well, we actually start planning in December. We put all, start getting all our rose orders in, all our preparation for cellos and boxes, greenery. Everything starts prepping from December onwards. Popular gifts, and you know, you've got the chockies, you've got the dinner dates, the movies, the Fifty Shades of Grey. Why should people still um, come to their local florist, I guess? Um, because there's a florist on every corner, support the local business. It's, we keep a lot of girls employed as well, and it's great for the economy, and it's fun. <laughs> Talk us through your range here. Now, you've got a couple of examples of what have been uh, two of the more popular choices so far this year. Uh, yep, yeah, so we've got our traditional red rose for our traditional gentleman, and then we've got our rainbow rose for our bogan younger generation. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about the rainbow rose. How's that created? It looks pretty specky and what sort of people are purchasing that one? Uh, the younger generation love these. The, um, they just think it's so unreal and, and they want it and it's yeah it's just different. They like different whereas yeah it's a bit different but. Does not. it say a lot about a person which rose they decide to come in and buy for their loved one? Yeah the bogan guys like this. <laughs> <laughs> and our traditional man likes this. Okay, and can you just give us a gauge on how busy um, today is and tomorrow will be in terms of your opening hours? Um, well, we're obviously open until 8 o'clock tonight. Uh, tomorrow we're back in the store at 6am. We'll work through to midnight tonight. Uh, today is really busy this year because Valentine's is falling on a Saturday, so it's a lot of guys want their flowers turning up today for the girls at work so it makes them look good so but tomorrow will be crazy it will so yeah get in early <laughs> before we sell out that's my final advice <laughs> what uh, what advice do you have I mean my final question what advice do you have for uh, I guess blokes and females who have left it to the very last minute well guys love receiving roses as well so and they girl, a lot of ladies do come in and get single roses for their men so yeah definitely come in today ring us ring your local florist and yeah come in and see us Cool. Thanks for your time. Vicky Thank Higgins you. here at the Inaloo Florist. Tim, I'll be here for another 20 minutes if you just want to text through your order, mate. I can sort something out for you. But from the bottom of my heart, happy Valentine's Day. Mate. Thank you, mate. I appreciate that. I might just get you a dozen of the, uh, the rainbow ones. Bogan to bogan. <laughs> Wouldn't mind that. Thanks, mate.